pray, then let it go. Don't try and manipulate or force the outcome. Just trust God to open the right doors at the right time. If you are going through difficult times keep trusting Jesus, because he knows how to bless you in unexpected ways. Jesus has a purpose behind every problem and he uses our circumstances to develop character. Have faith in God no matter what because he will deliver and bless you for your faithfulness. Faith does not mean trusting God to stop the storm, but patiently trusting him to strengthen us as we walk through the storm. In this story, a young woman didn't have faith in Christ to help her in time of need, but trusted in her sin instead. The results may shock you. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians 4:19 KJV be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6-7 KJV Class settle down. In your seats. Today, we have a new student. Please welcome, Mariah. Mariah, please introduce yourself. I'm Mariah. Hi new girl. So, what's with the pink hair? It's Mariah, not new girl. Pink is my favorite color. Oh, my bad new girl. I mean, Mariah, you're such a twat. What did you just say? I said, what's your name? That's enough everyone. Mariah, you can sit next to Marianne and then we'll begin today's lesson. And who's Marianne? That'll be me. Of course it is. Is there a problem? Why are you staring at me? I like your hair dye and cut. It's edgy, and it goes along with your edgy attitude. Oh. Thanks, I think. No talking. Everybody take out your pens, let's begin. Hey, you the new girl right? My goodness. Do I have a sign that says new girl on my head? You guys don't miss a thing. We know fresh meat when we see it. So, how's your first day going so far? Eh, it's going. As any private college would, I suppose. Cool. I'm Adriana, and my twin sister is Adana. I'll be around if you need help finding your way around. Oh by the way, stay away from the green girls. They're bad news. Green girls? Girls who hook up with guys for money. See ya. So, are we seeing the guys tonight? For sure. I'm gonna text everybody when the guys wanna see us. Okay. Hey. Enjoying the food? I was. Tuna sandwich is pretty good here. Hey sorry about earlier. I know I can be a witch sometimes. I need friends like you to help put me in my place. You're forgiven and all, but I'm trying to enjoy my food. So you can go burden somebody else. Why are you so mean? I'm only trying to make amends here. Thanks and all, but forgive me if I don't completely trust you. And I'm not mean. Where I'm from, you have to survive or die trying. So sorry if my tough attitude does not sit well with your rich girl's privileged. Daddy gets me whatever I want so let's all be friends sort of thinking. It's hard enough trying to pay my own way through this expensive private college, I don't need added stress from spoiled, sheltered white girls. How dare you make assumptions without knowing me, because I'm white. For your information, I am not rich and my daddy as you say, is an alcoholic and has a gambling problem that's destroying my family, my mom on the verge of divorcing him. They don't even know where I'm at, most of the times. They're not even helping me with money I need for this damn expensive school. They think I have a really good, legal job making great money that I find myself regretfully sometimes supporting my dad's drinking problem. So before you point fingers, just know you have three more pointing back at you. Don't assume I'm a rich white girl because of the color of my skin. I'm far from rich, I don't have supportive parents and I know what it's like to struggle too. Hey. You and I are in the same boat as far as problems, you know, human stuff. Damsels in distress and all, attending a college that we have no business going to. <laughs> 
sorry. I didn't know this is a joke to you. It's not. I just didn't know you were this real, and honest. And here I thought all white people go through life in a live action fairy tale land, because the world caters to their every need. I gotta admit, I never knew your culture can have issues like everybody else. My bad. You learn something new every day, so don't assume you know me or anyone else white ever again. Every human household has problems. And fairy tale land? You. Sounds like rainbow unicorns jumping over rainbows with country music in the background. You're cool as heck. You can hang with me. But on one condition. What's that? Don't ever bother me when I'm enjoying a tuna sandwich again. It's a special moment. Girl you crazy. Hang with me. I'll show you the ropes. And, I'll even buy you another tuna sandwich if you like. Girl you ain't say nothing but a word. Just make sure it's wheat bread. There is a party tonight. Wanna come with me? I don't know. I'll let you know later on. Okay. Here take my number. If you don't mind me asking, how are you able to pay your way through this college? Compensation checks from a bad accident of a loved one. If I'll be able to graduate? I don't know. The checks is not that much. I think I can help with that. Really? How? I'll let you know soon. If you really need fast money, I say accept this offer. Come by the party tonight. I'll text you the address and we'll explain everything. I know that car horn from anywhere so I don't even need to look to see who it is. I'll catch up with you later. You know him? Yep. Very well. See you. Hop in. Yep. She knows him? Guess so and I guess I should mind my own business. Honey I'm home. Welcome back, my love. How do you feel? Is your shoulder feeling better today? It's getting a whole lot better. How was your first day at a private college? It was fine. I met a college mate who said she has a way for me to make money. It sounds like a good job opportunity, so I'm gonna see her later on today about it. If it's legit, I'll be working while going to school saving up money for your medical treatment and my school fees, since the compensation checks won't be enough to cover both. I'm sorry for having you work so hard to take care of me and go to school but I promise when I'm better you can finish your courses in ease while I worry about making enough money for us both. But you can't come here instead of you going to her? You, no. You know I don't like people in my personal space especially this soon. Plus I don't want her in my business. Okay, no problem me more. Ouch. Honey are you okay? Should I stay home with you tonight? No it's okay. I'll be fine. Go see about the job, and I'll just change the bandages and take a nap until you get back. Okay. Baby I hate seeing you suffer like this. I'm gonna get ready to go but I'll at least make you dinner before I leave. This is why I love you. Thank you for caring about me. Don't thank me. I'm your woman and you're my man I hope to marry one day. It's my duty to care for you. I love you. I love you too. I'm a blessed man to be your first and last to make love to you when we marry. God willing. Thanks for holding yourself to me. You're welcome. Thanks for waiting for me since you were not a virgin. I appreciate you becoming celibate for me. Why wouldn't I? You're worth the wait. Thirty minutes later. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but, there's serious couples out here, wow. Well, they're not couples like you think. Oh. How so? Let's go in this room and I'll explain. What's this all about? Remember how I said I can help you out with your money issues? Um, yeah. Well, friend. The men you saw tonight are willing to pay you good money if you do something for them. The girls you saw are only a few, but there is a bunch of us who come from poor families, and we need help to pay for college. These men help us out. 
helps you out by you doing what? Wait a minute. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yes, but please don't freak out. The money is good and all we have to do is sleep with them. Marianne, are you suggesting that I prostitute myself? Well, I. Cause I will. Not. I will not sell my body to make a quick buck. Is this what you brought me out here for? Are you out of your mind? Girl look, you need the money right? They will pay you a lump sum every time you spend a night with them. Just one night with one guy. If you want more than one at a time, I don't know. I never tried it. How much? New girls get paid $5,000. Virgin new girls, $7,000. Every two nights you spend with a man and they pay you $100 extra. I'm talking insanely rich guys. Where they get their money from I have no idea, and quite frankly I don't care. But they're only paying for college girls. I know you can benefit from this offer. How long have you been doing this? Let's just say, I'm almost a millionaire. Say what? Yep. I have only three clients. Then shouldn't you already be a millionaire by now? True, but I'm always spending up my money. I even have a secret apartment and car my parents know nothing about. This money is a lifesaver and I think you'll like the benefits it comes with too. I'll give you time to think about it. I got a check on a client. She said yes but she may play hard to get. Here, put this pill in her drink. What would I do without you? So how'd it go? Oh. Um, who are you? The man who will put a lot of money in your pocket tonight and from now on, if you let me. Um, I think not. Your clothes don't even match. You're a fiery one. I like that. Here, drink this to help you feel better. A toast to becoming new friends and bed buddies. No thanks. I know you spiked my drink. I don't want anything from you. Now leave this room before I call the cops. That won't be necessary. We can work something out another time then. You said she said yes. She don't want me nor did she drink the drink. She even threatened to call the damn pigs. You better fix this before you come up missing. I want her the next time I see her, or else. Well that's just great. Freaking great. Was that really her idea of making money? But on the other hand, that's a lot of money and it could add up really fast and even help pay for Adam's shoulder surgery. I care more about him than school. What do I do? I can't believe I'm actually considering prostitution. I'll shower and sleep on it. If she doesn't agree to sleep with him, I'm dead. His words. I'll talk to her and try to convince her that it's a good thing. You only live once, right? After all, girls just want to have fun. And since music is powerful, I'll play that song in front of her to be more convincing. Don't worry, you're not dying anytime soon. Thanks girl. I knew I could count on you. Welcome. It was you? You got me into the business and now I can't stop making money so, it's the least I can do. Next day at college. Hey, did you have fun last night? Oh. Girl heck no. His clothes wasn't even matching. No nookie for a classless man. All that money he has, he should have bought matching clothes. So that's why you didn't sleep with him? Because of his clothes. It's partly why. Ain't no way I'm losing my virginity on a man who can't dress himself right. You were a virgin? Yes, and you left me there all alone last night when I thought you were coming back. Something could have happened to me. I can't just hop in bed with anybody you know. I needed more time to make up my mind. Don't ever do that again. I was with my clients, but you're right. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. Just let me know what you wanna do after school. Oh, and since you're a virgin, you'll get paid $7,000 on the spot. They call it, via appreciation allowance. Get that money girl, cause girls just wanna have fun. 
Yeah. I'll let you know. See ya. I heard the whole thing. Adana said she'll talk to her and she sounded sure that Mariah will agree. Well, I gotta go look for more girls to recruit in the meantime. See ya. I hope it works out. If she dies, cause she couldn't recruit some virgin, that means I'm in line next to be Queen B. That don't sound so bad after all. Hey. You're the new girl right? Got a name? Mariah. What's yours? I'm Adana. Nice meeting you. You too. Wait, aren't you Adriana's twin sister? That would be me. And I see you met Adriana already. Where you meet her? The library. That's just like boring Anna. Always has her face buried in those books, no fun in her dry bones. Anyway, I seen you last night and I just want you to know, you're making the right choice. You might be nervous at first, but once you get your first guy to make love to you, the money starts pouring in. Before you know it, different male clients starts pouring in too. And the sex feels amazing. These men are very skilled in their profession. I didn't do anything last night. Guess I'm still considering it. If you're having doubts, don't overthink it. We only live once so why not enjoy our time here and get the money any way we can. Easy money girl. Closed legs don't get fed. Then she plays the song, Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. I just love this song don't you? Girls Just Wanna Have Fun hun. Oh, girls, just wanna have fun. <laughs> that a girl. Marianne is a good friend. She's only trying to help you out. She has your best interest at heart. You better make that paper girl. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity so don't let it pass you by. You're gorgeous. I can see a lot of men paying you crazy money orders. Money orders? Oh heck, no. Girl I'm just messing around. They'll pay you hardcore cash in hand or you can ask for a money transfer. You better make that bread before another girl steals your spot, hon. Maybe you want to buy yourself a collection of glasses, cute clothes or anything you want. They'll pay for it. How long you been doing it for? About two years. Well see you around. Hey friend. Hey. So, you think you want to do it or not? I think I do. The money would really help me out. Really? That's what I'm talking about. Oh? and I need to give you a makeover. Nothing out of your comfort zone don't worry. Meet me after school. K but make sure the guy is at least cute and dresses well. I think that can be arranged. See ya. Oh Mariah. Why didn't you listen? Hey, wait up. Oh hi, Adriana. I spoke with your sister today. What's up? Mariah, you're making a bad decision to hang out with the green girls. Just like Adana is and if they don't stop soon, something's bad is bound to happen. I told you they were trouble and to stay away from them. Yeah well when I need you to make decisions for me I'll be sure to let you know, mom. Besides, I'm in a tough spot right now. This could be good for me. Trust me, selling your body isn't the way. Don't you have faith in God to help you through? God? Where was God when he let my mom die and my dad get put on death row and I had to live in the system all my life, but luckily nothing bad happened to me. I'm really sorry for your loss, truly I am, but, God allows things to happen for a reason, one being so that we turn to him for help, learning to trust and have faith in him, building our relationship. It's not about religion, it's about a relationship with loving Father God through his son Jesus Christ and his children. He gave us the gift of life, and it's his choice to take it away for his good purpose, and, luck isn't real. It's only God's blessings, grace and mercies and love for you that kept you safe all these years. Won't you please reconsider doing this? And who's God to help me with what I'm going through, you? And which God are you talking about? Jesus Christ, the only true wise God. Have faith in Jesus and he'll help you through whatever you're going through so you don't have to let the enemy steal away your precious gift, your body that belongs to the Lord. We'll see. Later. Adana better get her sister or there will be trouble. I don't need her sticking her nose where it don't belong. Well I'll call him and let him know what's up. I'm listening.
She said yes. But on one condition. That is? Just match your clothes for crying out loud, since you work at a boutique, and she's all yours. And, she's a virgin. Oh, she is, is she? What's wrong? My Viagra just ran out. I'll pass. He's impossible. I'll have to find somebody else quick, so I can get my money. Hey, all ready for your makeover? As ready as I'll ever be. Good. This is my house but we're going to the basement. Oh, and please don't listen to whatever Adriana had to say. That girl only wants everybody to be boring just like her. Well, let's go inside. Alright ladies, we have successfully added a new member to the Green Girls Club. Adana, get your sister though because she's a pest we don't need filling Mariah's head up with doubt and fear. She is such a pain. Don't worry I'm on it. Good. We're all gonna help Mariah with a new makeover so she look as hot as the rest of us. Her first client is tonight. Tonight, really? Don't worry, you'll be just fine. I just love giving makeovers. Looks like you're due for another one yourself. You're the one to talk. Ain't I? Let's save the cat fighting for another time. We got a baddie to make over. Let's get to work. Get to work? I ain't that bad, am I? Baddie means a sexually attractive female from head to toe, exactly what we're making you to look like, not that you personally look bad, as in awful or no redeeming you. Ha ha, I knew that. 30 minutes later. I guess this will have to do. Time to get this show on the road. Are you serious? Red carpet and a limo for what? All virgins get this treatment. And why shouldn't you? You look great, a pretty in pink baddie. Go have fun, and remind him to use condoms. Make mom proud. Hi, gorgeous. Oh. Um, hey. You look really nice tonight. Yeah. You're the one taking my virginity? But you look so young. Much younger than what I thought. Not me, my boss. I'm escorting you to him. We should be there in 20 minutes. But if you want to see me tomorrow, here's my number. No thanks. I'm barely agreeing to sell my virginity. Don't need anyone else right now. Still take it if you change your mind. I wouldn't be seeing you for sexual reasons. We're here. Try to relax and enjoy yourself. My boss is a rich guy who gets all the pretty girls. How old are you? 18. You? 27. You've kept your virginity for 18 years. Why break it now? If you don't mind me asking. Because it's none of your business. That's why. You're right, my fault. Well, I'll leave you to it. Nice glitter suit, but at least you match. I like you already. Here's the money up front. Count it if you want. Five minutes later. Wow. It's all there. But I want you to do a money transfer. And because you're beautiful and smart, I'll add on another $5,000. Now let me see the tasty body. I'm not doing anything with you unless you agree to wear condoms. Smart, and feisty, just how I like it. I always strap up. Make yourself comfortable and I'll take over. But just remember who's running the show here. Do you wanna get me mad? I like you but this can go from 1 to 100 in a matter of seconds. Sexy, this does not have to be difficult. Babe, calm down. You said I can get comfortable, but I haven't even taken my heels off yet. Do you not want me to be comfortable then? And what's your name again? They call me, Cookie Monster. And I'll give you 5 minutes. I can't believe I'm selling my virginity to this Cat Williams wannabe when I promised to lose it to my man once we're married. But he's hurt and he needs money or he could die from his shoulder infections. Hospital bills cost too much but doing this will cover a lot of the medical bills and the money transfer is already accepted. I don't wanna do this but what choice do I have? I gotta try saving Adam, 
Because I love him and love is the only reason I'm doing this. I'm ready. Next day. Where have you been? I kept calling you but you turned your phone off. I was so worried about you. I fell asleep while studying with my friend, so I just spent the night there. She must have turned my phone off so I wouldn't be disturbed. I need my beauty rest, you know. Haha. <laughs> I'm sorry I left you alone by yourself. How's your shoulder feeling? It's getting worse, but I can manage. But this conversation ain't over. Honey, what do you mean this conversation ain't over? Don't you believe me? And your shoulder's getting worse. Just... Go get ready for school. We'll talk later. So how'd it go? You like it? I'll let you know when my stomach stops hurting. Five rounds last night. That man couldn't get enough of me. That's Cookie Monster for you. Did you make him wear condoms? Ah, uh, yeah. Class note talking. Back to work. After school. I got a new client tonight. Gotta get ready. See ya. Bye. Hi honey, how are you? Honey, you are bleeding. It hurts really bad too. That's it. I'm driving us to the hospital. How much is the operation gonna cost? The operation, along with hospital fees and surgical supplies, you're looking at $75,000. Why so much money to help out your fellow human? That's seriously outrageous. Ma'am, I can understand your frustration, and if I could change it I would, but... Never mind. I'll get your money. Honey, everything is gonna be alright, okay? I have a way to get the money. This pain is so unbearable, I can't focus on what you just said. Doctor. Get in here. Quick. I'll be back with the money, my love. So she called the escort number and he picked her up. The hospital couldn't operate until they had money. The most they did was patch him up and gave him painkillers which wasn't working. He was on the verge of dying from his painful shoulder injuries he suffered from a bad accident at his former construction job, six months ago. You called me rather fast. Is there anything I can do for you, miss? Don't patronize me. This is strictly business. How much would you pay me for tonight? If you were a dog, I would name a price but you're not. You're a beautiful gem who I would love to take out sometime, so therefore I cannot put a price on you. You're worth more than fine gold. Bravo. You really put on a show and that was nice and all. But I need $63,000 more. You got it or not? I got it but I wouldn't give it to you. Why not? Because I would give you much more. How's 80 G's sound? It sounds like I'm being scammed. Well what do I gotta do to get it? Not sex. Just go on a date with me. One date. But I don't have that time. My friend is in major pain at the hospital. I need money now but hospital fees cost $75,000. I made $12,000 last night. $5,000 more was included because he liked my personality. I'm not surprised he liked you. You're likable and beautiful. Unique. By the way, are you okay from last night? I'm fine. I'm happy to hear it. Tell you what, save your money and take this. It's $100,000. Keep the change. Where did you get all this money from? Oh, never mind. I think I know the answer to that. It's not what you think. Being a chaperone pays good money. I don't sleep with the women, though I'm sometimes tempted to. I'm Christian. Hold up. You? A Christian? So how could you stand to like your job? How can you just sit by and watch while girls are being taken advantage of, selling their bodies? I don't like it but the job pays well. The girls have a choice to sell their bodies or not, so aren't they responsible for their own choices too? I do tell the fellas about Jesus all the time, but they just shoot me down cause I'm, you know, only an escort. I escort you ladies to your destination and that's it. And you never made a move on any of the girls, like you did me? Well, no. And sorry about that. I scan around making sure everything's fine most of the times. Rarely women catch my eye, but she belongs to the boss, not me. There's cameras in the limo that I didn't even know about till recently and if I tried anything on any girl, I would be fired. Oh. It's the hospital. Yes please. I'm afraid I have some bad news. 
his shoulder pain and open wound gotten worse. So bad, the painkillers weren't helping and he keeps bleeding through, losing a lot of blood. He's losing conscience and his heart rate is dropping fast. I'm so sorry this isn't what you wanted to hear. We're still trying to keep him sedated and conscious but to no avail. I understand you got the money but, I don't know if we'll need it at this point. You can come in and see him but visiting hours is closing soon. You turn to the hospital. You got it. Hang on. <laughs> I'm, so sorry. This must have been a very close friend. He's my boyfriend. So all this time you had a boyfriend? Have, not had. He's not dead. Well here's your money back. Keep it. It all makes sense now. You were doing this for him, to save him. Yeah. Yeah I was. Hope it wasn't in vain. I prayed for whoever your friend was in the hospital. I didn't know it was your boyfriend but I prayed they get well. We'll see what happens. Why are you so, good to me? Besides the fact I like you, it's my Christian duty to help those in need when I can. A little prayer for someone suffering won't hurt. I've got good news. He's stable again and he's regaining his breathing back to normal. If you have the money ready, we can begin the process of signing documents as well as the operation. It should go extremely well and he should be better in no time. Oh my. What are we waiting for? Where is the papers? Sure. Right this way. I'll be right there, doctor. Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm happy for you. Listen, if it wasn't for your generosity I wouldn't have the money to pay them. And for praying over him. Thank you. Don't ever hug me while you belong to another man. Cause I sure as hell wouldn't want you hugging other men if you were my woman. And, I would hate to steal you away from an innocent man. Oh. Take care. Lord, I'm gonna wait for her. Then, I'll bring her in your holy place if it's your will for us to be together. Somehow, some way. In the mighty name of Jesus. So Adam, her boyfriend was healed and strong again back at work a year later. They were about to set a wedding day, then he found out what she did to help save him, one day on his day off. About to be married to the love of my life. Can't wait. Well let me get these clothes ready to be washed. What's all this in her bra? Bra pads. No, it feels like paper, and... Oh really? So it's like that Mariah? Hi honey. Another long day but it's over. How are you feeling? Why are you standing here like this? Care to explain why you had a condom in your bra, with a prostitution business card? Adam, it's not what you think. Hear me out. How could you do this to me? While I was here suffering and in pain, you were out sleeping with men for money? You were that desperate to have bread that you couldn't wait until I healed up and got back to work? Adam, honey, I would never cheat on you. Really? How could you let those words leave your mouth when that is exactly what you did? You little liar. I did this to save you. Was only one man, one time. I never went back when I got the money transfer. <laughs> you prostituted yourself to save me? Please don't use that word. I had sex to save you. I love you and I needed the money fast because I couldn't risk seeing you in pain any longer or losing you. I'm not a liar, or a prostitute. It was only one time. Honey please believe me and forgive me. I wanted to save my virginity for you but you were in so much pain so what was I supposed to do? I guess you was with him when I thought you were studying with your female friend. Right? Do you even have a female friend? I lied about studying with her when I slept with him for you, and I'm sorry for lying. But I do have a female friend, well she's not really a friend, just a girl who introduced me to the business. I didn't want to be with him but I had to try to save you. If you don't believe me about Marianne, I can call her up now. Okay call her. Hold on lover boy. Oh hey girl, what's up? 
she explained exactly what Mariah needed her to, on speaker. I'm sorry my love. I'm sorry you had to go through all that for me. <laughs> Why didn't you just trust God to make a way? I should've, but I don't have faith in God. We never went to church nor read the Bible together. I don't even know how to pray. You're right, and it's my fault I never introduced you to God since I'm a Christian. I forgive you. I hope you can forgive me too. Honey, what are you doing? I'm so turned on and appreciative at the same time, for what you sacrificed for me. I need to make steamy, hot love to you. I still want to be married first, okay. Then let's go get married at the courthouse. Right about now, I will do anything to make you happy. I want you, so bad, my love. Let's get showered and changed first. So they married and rushed back home to make passionate love. He always had pleasurable angry sex with his new wife. They were married for two years until he got killed in the army when he decided to join the army to be financially set for life. He strengthened his relationship with God just before he died, when a fellow army soldier preached the gospel to everyone. A year later, <laughs> What do I want to eat today? Hey, it's you. Mariah, hi there. I almost didn't recognize you. After four years and you're still so beautiful, but you look sad. Is everything alright? I assume your boyfriend is well? We got married a year later, married for two years. Then he joined the army the end of our second year of marriage. He got killed in war. The love of my life ripped right from my hands. I loved him so much. I don't mean to be insensitive, and I'm sorry for your loss, but he wasn't the only man for you. The sooner you see that other men likes you too, maybe even loves you and if you gave them a chance, you wouldn't have room to mope around like this, after a whole year of losing him. Whoever likes me is irrelevant right now. They will never compare to my Adam, never. Yeah. Got it. Except, maybe, if it was you. It is me. I liked you from the moment I first saw you. Like turned into love. I couldn't get you out of my head and it pained me to see you have to lose your virginity to a sleazeball like my boss, or to any man other than me but, there was nothing I could do at the time. Well, former boss. I no longer work for them sleazeballs. Thank God my online business brings in good stacks, as much as I was previously making as a chaperone that I'm not proud of. You got me thinking. Three years ago I changed jobs because of the taku heading my car four years back, and you were right. A Christian has no place in a dangerous, sinful business as that. You're a wonderful woman, courageous, strong-willed and beautiful inside and out. Doesn't hurt your sexy too. I love you so much, Mariah. If you ever decide to give us a chance, you'll be the happiest woman on earth. I'll make sure of that, but no pressure. My number is still the same if you ever want to reach out to me. And on that note, have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you feel better soon and maybe I could put a smile on your pretty face again. Your name? Adam. After grieving for her late husband for four more months, Mariah decided to give Adam a call. He was there for her healing process. She soon found herself falling for him. He took her to church, showed her how to pray, prayed over her, read and explained the Bible. She gave her life to Jesus and got baptized at his church. They started dating, celibately, then she loved him too and confessed her feelings for him. The following three months he proposed to her. She said no at first to be sure it was meant to be so they prayed and fasted about it, and it was. She said yes. Their family and friends attended the wedding. She reached out to her college buddies to give their lives to Jesus too and they did. Do you Adam, take Mariah as your lawfully wedded wife, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, 
in sickness and in health, long as you both shall live till death be you part? In Jesus' name I do. And do you Mariah take Adam, as your lawfully wedded husband, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, long as you both shall live till death be you part? In Jesus' name I do. Then by the power invested in me, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. I've waited so long to taste those sweet lips. Was I worth the wait? Oh sure, is that even a question? Thank you for saying yes, and for making me the happiest man alive. God bless you my gorgeous tough cookie. God bless you too, my Hershey kisses. You mean these Hershey kisses? Yep. Adam proved his honesty and made sure his wife was the happiest woman on earth. The twin sisters made up and had a good friendship again since Adana gave her life to the Lord too. Marianne confessed to Mariah to spiking her drink in the beginning and Mariah forgave her. All five girls graduated college and became good friends. The ones in prostitution repented to the Lord and never looked back. They all went on to marry good Christian husbands and were good Christian wives and mothers. Because Mariah didn't trust God to help the first Adam and took it upon herself, she couldn't have children for two years. They had faith in God for a child and then afterwards were blessed with a healthy baby boy. Marianne no longer supports her father's addiction. She and her mother decided to put him in rehab. Her mother never divorced her dad, because Marianne ministered the gospel of Jesus Christ to her dad and he got better and gave his life to the Lord, along with her mother. One of the pimps repented and got saved too. Even though this story has a happy ending, please don't sell your body, or do anything else illegal to make money. God has perfect timing, trust Him. Thank you Jesus for forgiveness, redemption and salvation. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy path. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 KJV. God bless you in Jesus Christ's name.